and Postacoglu fever has hit Perth as the countdown continues to his first match as Tottenham boss against West Ham United in a pre-season friendly at Optus Stadium on Tuesday night, 6pm local time, 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. David Wiener from Keep Up With You, we are here in Perth as the, to build up to the game and with Jake Rosengarten, we've just come from the Wacker where Tottenham enjoyed a welcome to country ceremony. It is fair to say the interest, Jake, is well and truly on in the return of the former Socceroos boss. Well, absolutely, Dave. And you can see from the backdrop behind us, it is, uh, it's all about Ange Postacoglu here in Perth now. I mean, you uh, referenced that, that beautiful welcome to country ceremony this morning. It really was a lovely welcome for Ange uh, back here in Australia in Perth. But he's not the only one. Obviously, Mila Yedinak, former Socceroos captain on the staff as well. And there was a beautiful message for Ange specifically on the uh, famous Wacker scoreboard as well, uh, welcoming home. Welcome Spurs and also welcome home Ange. It would have been well welcomed by Ange Postacoglu. Lots of interest, not just local interest, international interest here in Spurs traveling that includes because Harry Kane was there today Son Hyo Min was there today all the big stars are there what can we expect from Tuesday night watching the first hit out of Tottenham uh, this preseason well it's gonna be interesting because I mean all eyes are on essentially I mean and just promised uh, his trademark attacking exciting style of football so we'll see basically if he can bring that into action straight out of the gate I mean he's only been at Spurs for a matter of weeks now started officially on July 1 and has had a little bit of time to bet in with his squad but the international stars took a little bit of time to get back so we'll see what they can bring out straight out of the gate against West Ham. There's always a lot of hype around pre-season tour around transfer news. Declan Rice dominated the David Moyes new cycle here with West Ham. There will be sure tomorrow, match day minus one in Australia, huge interest around questions around Harry Kane. He is here with Ange but that is going to be a big, big talking point ahead of the game. It really is. I actually think there's two sides to this story in terms of there is Harry Kane transfer interest being heavily linked with Bayern Munich and rumours and reports that Daniel Levy, who's actually in Australia, and we saw him this morning at the Welcome to Country, uh, actually met with his Bayern Munich counterpart in, over the last couple of weeks to discuss Harry Kane. We don't know how that's progressed. But also the fact that the big... Uh, exclusion from this Spurs side is actually Hugo Lloris, mm. who's been captain for a very, very long time. Not here. Spurs official release suggested he's uh, exploring transfer opportunities, so that leaves the Tottenham captaincy open, and I mean, if, if Harry Kane is sticking around, he'd be the logical man to take over. Indeed, and it's a really interesting time in any part of Ange Postecoglou's tenure, that first period where he looks at the incumbents, he looks at who to bring in. Hugo Lloris as the captain would be a major change to the squad, but he has done it before. We've seen that here in the A-League, we've also seen that with the Socceroos, and it would be interesting to assess the local press reaction from the from the travelling English journos about how they're uh, interpreting his opening days and weeks as Tottenham boss. They'll be taking on West Ham. We were there last night at Optus Stadium when they beat Perth Glory 6-2. The quality and clash pervade. It was a Jared Bowen show by the end of the night. But there were pockets of times, Jake, where Perth Perth's youngsters really did stand up. What did you make of that game? What can Tottenham expect when they take them on Tuesday night? Couldn't agree more, Dave. I think there were two as again two facets to that game. There was the Jared Bowen show in the second half, where I mean, it was it was a fairly even game to half time, two one at the break. And I mean, David Moyes even said it, uh, in his post match press conference that he was quite impressed with what Perth Glory brought to begin with. Um, and then you had the likes of Bowen, Ogbonna. Uh, Cresswell coming off the bench to really add that quality in class. I mean, uh, West Ham, you got to remember as well, uh, are coming off uh, a European triumph a little over a month ago. I mean, they haven't had much time together in camp, but it will be interesting as well to see what they bring to the table to go against the might of Spurs uh, as they gear up for the Premier League season. Uh, David Moyes said they were still buzzing from that European win and they were still on the high from that. So uh, they did very well to dust themselves off and put six goals past Perth. It was a very entertaining game, but obviously very much a pre-season hit out for them as they build up towards Tottenham and then the main dance with the Premier League starting next month. Jake, we will be back. Keep Up will be at Optus Stadium to cover it. We'll bring you wall-to-wall -wall coverage on keepup.com.au and our social channels all the way through to Tuesday night. Match Day Minus One press conferences on Monday. Ange Postacoglu, David Moyes, really interested to see what they have to say and a Tottenham training session where I'm sure they'll get a great turnout from the local community here in Perth, local, local football fans. There's plenty of Tottenham jerseys around the city as well, so looking forward to that one. So Tuesday night, 6pm local time, 8pm Australian Eastern Standard time, Tottenham versus West Ham.